ます。When you open your app, the first thing you'll get is this format. Click the plus sign to start creating a project. Now you can choose your ratio. And also you can add your own measurements. You can choose resolution which are up to 216 OP. You can also choose Framerates. And lastly, your background. You can name your project here. Click the plus sign and let's see each and everything. The first thing you'll get is shape. This thing helps for coloring, masking, transitions, and so on. The next one is media. This one allows you to access your videos and photos from gallery. The next one is audio. This one helps you to access your audios from your device. Templates helps you to use a small or presets. I think the introduction is quite enough. This tool helps you to zoom in and out. And this one is for moving your picture in X and Y direction. This one is for rotation. This one is for stretching your picture. If you want your picture to fit in the size of your format, you can click Fit to Composition Area. You have three options for split. The first one split your clip into two parts. The other one split your clip, but delete the unwanted parts. Automatically. See how you can add an audio.
Extract audio. And you'll have your sound. Now let's see how you can mark beats. Click this where you want to add beat mark. You can see the red things which helps us to get the beats. transition as an introduction. You can have a move your clips using keyframes. Keyframes play a great role in creating transitions. You can see how I'm doing a transition using keyframes. Follow my steps carefully. it on the second keyframe. Then you'll have something like this. As you can see it's kinda choppy so we need to make it smooth. In order to get the outcome we want we have to use the right graph for our edit. Now copy my graph. Now it's smooth. You can copy your graph and paste it in another clip. Now go to the second clip and add to keyframes. You should add the keyframes in the beginning and in the middle because the rotation of the first clip was at the end so we need to start the rotation at the beginning in the second clips. And you should make it in opposite direction with the first rotation. It was minus 70 degree on the first stone and now it's 70 degree on. The second one. Now paste your graph. But invert it because we have the opposite rotation with the first clip. So this is the result. As you can see there is a blank space between the photo and background when it's rotating. Let's fix it. Add tiles and turn mirror on. between the photo and background. Copy effect and paste it to the second picture. Do the same thing as the rotation transition here also. Copy my graph. The 
other things is to make smooth transition. You have to always add motion blur. This enables to have blur for any kind of movement which helps to create realistic image for viewers. You can increase the amount of blur. It has blur for the movement and it made it smoother. The next one is Flash. Add exposure Gamma. Add to keyframes and make it 0 0.6020. I hope this helps for beginner's smiley face. All I want to say is keep watching tutorials and you'll learn how to use it and it'll be much more easier. Thanks for watching.